At its core, business is about growing and selling, making and marketing, producing and promoting. There's something very satisfying about creating useful products and selling to people who are delighted by the value they receive in exchange for their cash. But we can't do any of this alone. Before there's a buyer, there's a seller. Before there's a seller, there's a grower or artist or engineer or all three. And those creators are supported by a whole host of educators, managers, planners, developers, caterers, and so the list goes on. Work is a shared endeavor. We don't work in isolation, and our work doesn't happen in isolation either. We work within a wider context. So what turns a dockside trading post into a thriving city? A view of business that looks beyond trade to the benefits provided, beyond individual goals to the greater good, beyond competitive strategies to constructing societies, beyond the profitability of deals done to the impact on lives lived. This wider view of work doesn't just ask what will help me make more money, it seeks to answer a much bigger question. What will enable us to do life better? Across the centuries, cities like this one started to develop based on trade and then continued to develop fueled by a vision of business leaders for peaceful and prosperous society. But when businesses invest their energies into constructing society, developing creative arts and promoting learning, then the value is multiplied and a legacy is built for generations. The whole value approach to business looks at the value of our work through three lenses. The close-up lens looks at what we produce. The portrait lens looks at how we work with others. And then the wide-angle lens looks at the impact our work has in wider society. It's great to be reminded on a regular basis why what we produce is of value why who we serve and work with is of value, and why where we are making an impact is of value. Re-evaluating value is an ongoing process. With all the frenetic activity of daily work and the pressures of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of what all this business we do is for. An endless cycle of growing and selling, keeping financially afloat, winning the next big deal, and beating the competition can leave us feeling more like a money machine than a human being. Rather than work with purpose, it can all seem pointless and a little bit soulless. We need to ask ourselves deep in our heart and soul what all this busyness is about. Are we just wanting to grow a bigger business or are we seeking to build better lives through business? The city uses as its emblem the wings that symbolize St. Mark, who wrote the very earliest account of the life and teaching of Jesus. The Gospel of Mark begins with Jesus announcing the kingdom of God is near. The kingdom of God is a favorite phrase of Jesus to describe a new society of people who know God's ways and live God's ways. But we don't always appreciate our kingdom purpose. Many have eyes and yet do not see. The kingdom of God is near and available, and yet we build our own counterfeit kingdoms and miss out on the true value that we were made to enjoy. And the answer is a restoration of vision that fills our souls with kingdom light. The Venetians saw what a city could become and how business could be a force for good in building a city in the light. 
In my research, I've met many business leaders who've had an epiphany moment and have started to see the value of their work in a much wider perspective. We need that epiphany moment. And my longing is to help as many people as I can to view the whole value of what they do and work with organisations to map and celebrate all the valuable contributions that they are making. Work is more than making money. Generating lasting value is something of beauty that gives joy to the heart and warms the soul. Soulful Enterprise transforms our view of value and brings dignity and significance to the things we do. When we see the whole value of business, we don't just generate more, we become more.